Hello guys and welcome back to this channel, where today guys, I'll be showing you how to combine two rides in Strava application. So guys, the first thing that you actually need to do is go to strava.com and download the Strava application. If you already have it, you can go and go, or you can always go and log into a Strava, profi Strava profile. If you do not have one, you can always go and register to Strava. Now, if you do not know how you can do this, you can always go to our YouTube channel where we have plenty of how to Strava videos, where you can actually see how you can do this. Now, guys, that we got that out of the way and you have the application and everything ready, let's see what we actually have in front of us. So here we have the Strava application with a lot of different options. So we have the home button, we have the maps, we have records, where you can record for everything you're swimming, you're jumping, every activity that you're doing. You also have the groups and you have the U where you have all of your activities, progress, distance, travel, everything. You can click on your profile to edit your kilograms, if you uh, everything, your calories, everything that you have done. Now, guys, on the home button... We can connect to GPS or computer to Strava. You can record this uh, using this app. You can see what your friends are doing. So you can see how much running they have done, how much calories they burn, how much swimming they've done, anything that they're doing at the moment. Or you can mock them if they didn't do something at that day. You can subscribe to Strava. And of course, you can choose your privacy settings. But now, guys, let's see how to combine two rides in Strava application. Well, while there's no way to merge two or more activities together on Strava, there's a third party tools that can use to combine the activities. Um, follow uh, these instructions from the Strava website to export the activity files in the original format. If the files are in uh, FIT format, use this site to combine the files. So you just need to go to the Strava uh, website, uh, which is for this, so which is support.strava.com to get this. And you can see how you can actually do that in that way. So guys, that's everything for this video. I hope that you found it informative. If you did, don't forget to like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel, put the notifications on. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye, guys.